Good afternoon, Sean. I'm Zach out here in Northland Nissan. Just getting you together that video I promised you of the 2014 Pathfinder. Of course, with all the options that you requested, sunroof, all-wheel drive, 4x4 system. Of course, this particular one is the SL, and I'm going to go over all the options that come in this package just so you have a general idea of what the Pathfinder can offer for you. Obviously, fuel economy is a big deal for you, and this is going to cut that fuel economy in the Xterra probably almost in by half. Of course, up at the front, you do have a nice chrome accented grille, chrome Nissan symbol, chrome body bumper protectors on the side there, chrome fog slash driving lights, a nice split five-spoke alloy wheel. Of course, one thing you're not going to see in the vehicle, another upgrade from the Xterra there, Shauna, is the intelligent key. Now, the great feature to this is obviously you have your remote start built into this. You do have your power lift gate. But while this is in the pocket, you can actually do all those operations basically from the vehicle itself without touching your key, which is kind of a nice feature when you do have a young one in your arms or if you are carrying that extra luggage with you when you need to get stuff in and out. We'll start at the back, we'll go around to the side, make sure it has adequate space for you to get in and out with the young one. Starting at the back, of course, you do see the towing package, which can tow 5,000 pounds quite comfortably, just like the Xterra. Of course, seven pin harness there. Power lift gate. Yet again, one little touch on the key fob will open that up while you got your arms full. Height adjustable, so if you find this is a little bit too high for you, you can bring it down to here, hold that button, and it'll automatically stay there when it opens. Like I said, this is the seven seater version, and they all come in seven seaters. A little bit extra cargo back here. That's more for the stuff that, you know, emergency kind of things you might need. Extra set of wipes, extra set of diapers, or something like that. Nice tie down hooks on each side. Of course, safety wise, side curtain airbags follow the whole length of the vehicle. God forbid if you are in a side impact or front impact, five star safety rating in the vehicle. Another nice little feature back here, which you don't see in most vehicles, is this, they actually give you a light back here for the third row that can be illuminated upon opening the door. So if it is nighttime, you do open that power lift gate, it'll actually shoot a little light for you so you know where you're going or what you're going into. Third row easily pops up. just like that and this is a very accessible very easy to use even for adults third row now the young one being five months old you are going to need this and that is the latch system even on the 60 40 folding seats in the second row it can be put in any configuration same with the third row you can actually put it in the third row as well knowing that she's safe keeping in mind you probably don't want her that far back away from you of course cup holders in the back rear vents and all that stuff too now, Shona, one great benefit you're going to see in the Pathfinder, and I know this was an issue for you, was that space getting getting her in and out of. Now, Pathfinder does have an adjustable second row, okay? Sports quite a bit more room than the Xterra, but what's kind of nice is when you do have the kid's seat in place, just like that, you can fold it flat, as well as full flat cargo mode as well. Okay, so there's your kid's seat. You can simply just pull on the side here, kid seat will stay in place giving you loads of access to the third row again easy to set up now I know she's only five months more old sorry but she might not appreciate this until down the road it does have heated seats for the second row as well even their own climate control back here if she's too hot or cold you can change that as you wish Intelligent key system, like I said, you can press it once, it'll lock everything up. One more time, it'll unlock just your driver's door. One more time, it'll unlock all five doors. There's nice wood faux paneling, trimming, nice chrome handles. Of course, memorized driver's seat, two sets for him and her. Okay, six way adjustable with lumbar. So forward, back, up, down, tilt, and your lumbar. Now, in the Pathfinder, it is an off-road capable vehicle, okay? So you have your, what they refer to as the 4x4 intuitive system, where you can leave it in auto, which it would be just like leaving your Xterra in 4 high, I guess, come wintertime. You can lock it, which basically means it's a true 4x4, just like the Xterra, or go to that two-wheel drive mode come summertime for max fuel economy. Powered by the CVT transmission, that's what's getting you that towing capability, that's what's getting you that great fuel economy as well. Another nice little feature 
his and hers to go in hand with that memorized seat is you do have dual climate control okay auxiliary in so while stationary this is a screen you can play back anything that has an rca hookup anything that's compatible to play out a qvga screen and by that i mean basically anything that'll plug into rca hookups which is the yellow white and red or usb right there Comfort of driving in this is far beyond the Xterra. Obviously, being a unibody, it's a very luxurious feel. Very comfortable to ride, which is kind of nice for the young one. You're not going to hit those bumps and wake her up or anything like that. Of course, Bluetooth located here so you can keep your eyes on the road. Cruise control there. Source your audio there. Heated steering wheel. You can open the power lift gate from the driver's seat. You can turn your power door on off if you don't want access to it from the outside. You do have your tow mode as well when you are having that 5,000 pounds towing telescoping steering wheel as well as tilt I'll give you a quick example here Shauna push button ignition okay like I said AM FM CD auxiliary and satellite radio okay you can also go scroll through a couple interesting things obviously Mind the French, sorry, this one actually hasn't been PDI'd or test driven or anything yet. But it is be able to look at fuel economy and actual maintenance records, so that actually helps you out for doing that kind of stuff. So there's your quick video shot. Any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to give me a shout. I look forward to your response. The number down here is 250-561-8797. Hope you enjoyed your video and enjoy the rest of your day.